I'm Ellie and today I am doing my June book haul. Um, I've decided now to just do book hauls at the end of the month rather than, you know, whenever I get them. Um, that way there's only, you know, I don't know. Why. I'm also trying a new spot in front of my red or mostly red bookshelf, which is this one. Um, and we'll see how that goes. I also have a brand new camera which is like a proper SLR um, and it has HD recording so I'm filming my first video on that today um, and I'm hoping it goes well and we shall see. Um, I'm actually going to have two parts to this book haul um, and I'm only filming the first part today because I'm waiting for one last book before I do the other one. Um, this one is going to be all the books that I bought at the Melbourne meetup. Part 2 will be library books and other books I've bought uh, in June. So let's get started. The Melbourne meetup was on Saturday. It was awesome and a lot of fun and I wrote a recap post on it on my blog. So I will link that below rather than repeat everything I said there here. Um, I wrote down everyone's name that went um, so I didn't forget anyone while I did this video. Um, so the people that went were Ebony from Paperback and Protagonists, sorry Paperbacks and Protagonists, um, Miranda from Books 101, Angel from Angel Reads, Michelle from Lovely Girl Reads and her non-booktuber friend Caitlin. Um, Rue Min from Rao Reads, or Rue Reads, oh, I'm so sorry, I probably said that wrong. Um, Nicole from Nixnax, I'm not sure if it's Nixnax or Nixnax, but yep. Um, then I don't know that these guys have booktubes or blogs, um, but Sabrina and Ashley were also there. Um, Nisha from Cheeky Books and her friend Jack, who I also believe doesn't have a booktube. Um, I will link everyone below and they're all awesome and lovely and we had so much fun. So anyway, we will start on the books now. Uh, we organised to do a little bit of a swap. I got rid of four books. I gave the help uh, to Ebony and the first three books in the Mortal Instruments series to Michelle because I didn't want either of them. <laughs> um, I only swapped one book and I got Man Made Boy by John Scovron. Uh, I got this from Angel and she was nice enough to give me these two little like swag thingies. Um, this one's like a thing for a book called Seven Day Fiancé by Rachel Harris, um, which totally isn't my kind of book, but on the back it's got a recipe which is really cute. Um, and she also gave me a bookmark of These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner, and I don't know if Angel knew this, but this is actually one of my favourite books ever, um, so I'm so happy to have a bookmark of it. You have no idea. The book is sort of like a zombie sort of thing. It reminds me a little bit of Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion. Um, but yeah, it looks interesting. I'm doing these books in the order that I got them. Um, so the first book we went, the first book we went to, the first bookshop we went to was Gimmicks. Um, and I picked out two books. Actually, I picked out quite a few more, but I put a couple down and I ended up getting these two. So I got Rain by Amanda Sun and this is the sequel to Ink um, and I really loved Ink so I'm really looking forward to this and I think this was one of my most anticipated reads for this month so I'm really really excited and it's a gorgeous cover. Um, the other book I got is Amy and Matthew by Cammie McGovern. Um, in America I believe this is called Say What You Will. Um, I heard about this a while ago on 
April Brooks's channel, who is an awesome Australian booktuber, and I will also link her below. Um, this is the a love story, um, obviously it says. Uh, Amy has cerebral palsy, and I believe Matthew has obsessive compulsive disorder. Um, so it should be interesting. Um, and they've been talking about this a lot on Epic Reads as well. Uh, next we went to a little ten dollar uh, book shop and there are a couple of different ones I saw in there that I liked the look of um, but I ended up just getting the one and that was Rivers of London by Baron Aron Aronovich I don't know how to say that um, I've picked this one up a couple of times and I just never got it. I borrowed it from the library once um, and I just never read it. But it looks awesome. Next from Reader's Feast I got Death Watch by Ari Burke. This is the first book in the Undertaken trilogy. Um, Michelle also got this one and we were talking about maybe doing a um, buddy read for it. So Michelle, if you're watching, I am still interested in that. And I was looking uh, through this book and it's actually got like a group reading guide in it. So that would be helpful. Uh, next we went to Hill of Content and I got one book from there and that is Love and Other... Uh, uh, let's do that again. Love and Other Foreign Words by Erin McCannahan. Um, yeah, this one looks amazing um, and it's a hard back and I don't buy hard backs very often and it was only $20. Um, but I've been looking at this one for ages. Okay, so we went to a couple a color. We went to a couple of other bookstores um, that we I didn't buy anything from or there were a couple that no one bought anything from um, and there was one that was closed but we ended up going back to Dimix and I picked up another two books um, while we were in there. The first one I picked up is On the Road by Jack Kerouac. Um, at the event, the Penguin Teen event for Fault in Our Stars movie, um, they gave us bags for On the Road and I've never read the book and I thought it was about time that I did. Um, and now I own it. And I'm pretty excited for this one actually. And then the last book I got, um, anyway, it's the Dylan Thomas Omnibus. Um, and this has Under the Milkwood, Poems, Stories and Broadcasts, all by Dylan Thomas. Dylan Thomas was a Welsh poet that lived sort of like during the Second World War and he wrote poems and, you know, um, things for the radio and Under the Milkwood is his play, I believe. Um, I'm hoping next year to study in Swansea in Wales, which is where Dylan Thomas was born. Um, so I'm trying to read a bit of Welsh literature. Okay, so that was part one of my June book haul. Um, I will probably have part two up either later this week or next week, um, depending on when that last book arrives. I was hoping it was going to be today, but it hasn't come yet. Um, thanks for watching the video, and I will see you next time with my next part of the book haul. See you guys then. Bye!